the U.S. Marine Corps. Founded in 1775. That's right, they date back pretty far. And now is an active part of the American Armed Forces. However, what if we unlocked the full special officer tree for the U.S. Marines practically immediately? But Dave, how will you get enough army XP? We'll get this. See this army experience? This is used for mountaineers. See this air XP? This is used for paratroopers. Check this out. It actually uses naval XP to unlock your marine bonuses and your marine doctrines. So do you know how we get around that? And do you know how we create the most powerful marine corps in the entire world? Well, you're going to find it in this video. This video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. I put my hands together and prayed the Paradox nerfed America. Uh, 94 of their 130 civilian factories are being eaten by consumer goods. Is that higher than it was before? I actually don't think it is. <laughs> And what is this? Light tank, 936. But also, ooh, what's this? Research, you say? Research, you say? That's right, we can assign a Mayo. So whenever you take advantage of a military industrial organization, which in this case is the fast tanks designer, it will give you a bunch of bonuses. And on the completion of the research for the light tank, it gives you, see that, funds 100. And with funds, you can get to modify your tanks to make them even more OP, like increased speed and reliability, or in this case, increased breakthrough and defense. Small bonuses, but meaningful in the long run boom production pretty standard ah, off we go so here's the first part of the plan grab the entirety of your fleet and merge them up pretty standard right assign an admiral you'll do prepare split up when needed and press k to exercise it goes without saying you want a chief of the navy in this case i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of naval xp so i'm gonna go for the army offense guy and here we go they are exercising and this old chestnut this old exploit has been around since the beginning of time and that's right. Look how much naval XP we're getting. We're getting 1.1 points per day. So as you can probably gather, someone do the calculation here. Over three years before the war even begins, you're going to end up with a lot of naval XP, which allows you to unlock your Marines and make them super OP in record time. Aha, 1936. Not a single bullet has been fired for the US Army. Yet somehow we have the ability to unlock Marines. Nice. And that also unlocks Pioneers, which are basically like engineers, but give a bonus to naval invasions. I mean, they already kind of do that, but these ones are more specialized. They're kind of like marines but like the manager of marines they just sit on the shoulder of regular divisions and be like hey this is how you can do a naval invasion a little bit better with this river bonus here probably very popular in multiplayer definitely and another one and this time we get to choose between jungle specialists which is very situational but can be useful or chore parties who doesn't love a good party right and this gives a further amphibious attack bonus we're going to be doing some island hopping boys a navy reformer giving additional 0.3 and 10 percent extra naval experience now given us 1.6 naval xp per day absolutely disgusting another one giving organization and it reduces the cost of making marine templates by 50 percent well that's gonna save us some land xp right oh new feature alert international market we can buy equipment in this case we'll buy infantry equipment and looks like uh, the belgians will give us a little bit of equipment yes and the dutch all countries that really shouldn't be selling their arms and the republic of ireland mm. Oh, well, they all accept my deal. Hey, we're not done yet. Spirit of the Navy, naval reform, plus 15% naval experience per day. And there we go. 1.86 daily naval XP. Guys, guys, listen to me. We're not done yet. Higher. And also, basically free guns on the market. I don't mind if I do. So this is how many guns I'm wanting to buy. These are how many sieves I'm willing to pay for it. I'm basically going to send four for one delivery because that's nice and cheap. And they all say yes. And if you look really closely, you can see the trade routes. Oh, look at that. Me buying guns from minor nations that are very likely to be attacked very likely to be attacked very likely to be attacked this is going to be the most historical game probably making belgium and the netherlands weaker oh well all right here we go expeditionary units which gives air superiority so this is the idea of combining your marines as if they're almost like a part integrated into the armed forces so that the air force is working in synergy with those armed forces plus a bunch of other good stuff right next 1937 we've only just begun and we're almost coming to the end of our special forces path giving special forces extra 10 percent extra extra attack an extra shore bombardment you can stack shore bombardment really high now but there's like a, a very low cap so it, this doesn't really make much of a difference but below torch and corkscrew come on who doesn't love the name of this one 
this is a good one, right? Okay, I'm familiar with all the exploits. I know you can rush and attack Japan super early and do lots of funny shenanigans. But what's the fun in that? We've done that a million times. So no more limited intervention. We'll do the neutrality act just for something a little bit different. Come on. And it is the end. Not of this game, but the special forces path for the Marines for USA. Expeditionary task forces. By now, the clear importance of branch cooperation is impossible to overstate. Dedicated task force logistics to our operations truly makes us a force to be reckoned with. Does it now? This gives us loads of supply, increases the capacity of Marines by massive. But plus now, when you have support artillery, it will buff all Marines and amphibious armor as a part of the division, giving defense and actual breakthrough. So the Marines are no longer special. They're just a part of the armed forces, which kind of feels like I'm defeating the purpose of this. That's right, boys. This makes special forces just forces. So let's look at the difference here. This is our marine template. So we changed an engineer to pioneers. Let's have a look at the difference. So we're losing defense in forts. We're losing some defense in rivers. That can make sense, I guess. And we lose our defense in forests, hills, and jungles. But we gain extra attack in marsh, amphibious, and rivers. And to be fair, this is actually a marines I can get behind. Surprisingly, they're more expensive than marines, though. Uh, question is, though, do they benefit from the upgrades of engineers? No, they don't. So that means in the long run, engineers are still better because they benefit from all these bonuses just river attack and urban attack eh I'm on the fence with this they're kind of more specialty for marshes rivers and amphibious but overall in, in the very long run late game I think marines are still slightly stronger so marines 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 you get the idea artillery 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 and then marines 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 this is new the bottom slot is locked out until in this case we unlock our doctrine bonuses so divisions are kind of are artificially made smaller until you get the doctrine and there's an added bonus as well recon now also gives soft attack bonus for every artillery battalion so in this case it's not showing it now it normally highlights it but uh it gives you access to extra soft attack wow a lot of soft attack actually we have a bunch of new icons too what do we go for the polax or the elk uh okay do we buy guns from everyone yes yes all the boys and if you check out your guns now army equipment details oh look multinational guns who needs american guns right marines put them down right there san francisco boys you have a mission across the oceans and time to grab some islands yes you know i think it's kind of ridiculous how much you get we're getting two points of naval xp now per day and that means we can hire the naval aviation pioneer and that means we can be like huh guess we just unlock all of these i guess i think we'll have the lot before the war hmm this is all by design gentlemen these are just features in a game right exploits time so the special forces have a limit that's right in this case 62 battalions we can have more marines though based on the way the ratios work unfortunately we cannot train anymore you can see this the button is grayed out oh no i tell a light we can train one more okay a bit of a lie being told there just one more okay but if we want to convert more we can't do it however if we try and make the division bigger by using this big fat one here will that allow us to train more it tries to train as one more so that means if we make this bigger which is based on a ratio of battalions basically the maximum size save and then we could train another six nice or if we convert them back to the horses ah and they won't let us do anymore okay so we have to deploy them first we can cheese it but only by a certain degree a limited amount of cheese i'm gonna do what i never do in most of my games and that is garrison the islands oh hang on a second i have a commando expert plus 10 attack and also plus six to special forces limit i'd be a fool not to click that right whoa this is new 25 percent cost for reduction of special forces doctrines bro listen i've already unlocked them all right but it also adds one extra free special force branch so what that means i can go down a different branch if i want to if i want to okay there's an event called the uss Hanei incident okay it's meant to happen in 1937, but he never fired for me. A significant event has happened in Europe. It'd be terrible if America intervened, right? Right? All right. Well, the war has begun and no one else is finished. Uh, my naval doctrines. That's pretty easy, right? Establish the Greenland Patrol. The United States occupies Greenland. It can be done if Denmark surrenders. I guess we're buying Greenland, boys. All right. Denmark surrendered. Well, yeah, kind of. They've become like a puppet state of Germany. The four-hour war, four-minute war, four-second 
second war who knows anyway we have greenland now natural clay of the americans can you leave now can you leave yeah Mike, get out of here this is not your land anymore out the swedes are offering 6600 guns i love the lot thank you oh brazil too i love the lot thank you the ussa today has been sunk <sighs> Two years late? What is this? I'm gonna have to Google this right now. When did this actually sink? It sunk in December 1937. Okay, something very peculiar has happened. Never mind. War. Okay, what naval zones are we gonna control? Basically, all of them. Put a bit of combination with Marines with also a nice water boy, right? Yes. Naval supremacy. Check. Activate the battle plan. Check. Declare war on Japan. Check. You will not be forgiven for sinking that ferry commercial ship civilian ship i do not even, even know what it even was but regardless islands secure the islands oh and look at this the minute we arrive we just dumpster them and then the south islands too oh just dumpstering them and we just uh the islands that connected to one another we just kind of mop those ones up oh the amount of firepower just doing a little bit of island hopping boys women ace yeah why not and you can see the penalty we're experiencing here is relatively small but remember we've got artillery battalions in this artillery moving across the ocean just use your imagination but regardless that penalty is basically nothing compared to this straight push this is massive damage normally i avoid island hopping but right now it's working beautifully so i'm not complaining do you know what i fancy doing this is blasphemous because i'm america but grand battle plan and then tip of the spear it makes marine templates 50 percent cheaper increases the special forces cut by 24 and gives more supplies to marines okay that's been changed it allows me to train more marines and another one and another one and the file island in south pacific kind of wow i just don't usually do this and this is working so well and now we activate more battle plans and that captures most of the islands in the pacific most there's, there's a few left over there we go and that is practically all the pacific islands just the home islands are left and taiwan oh this is too easy i'm loving it at the same time might as well just uh, research landing craft and get out pacific is american oh and at first iwo jima and they've got loads of divisions here and the penalty is still bright mild so if i send like 10 divisions here i think i can break it there's a big push for of the best of the best marine divisions land in iwo jima can they do it no they can't oh wait hang on i forgot about these bonuses as well these kind of feel kind of redundant compared to the new features. I want 5% soft attack bonus. I think I'll take it. Air support. 14 of my best 44 width divisions landing and the hell? They de immediately? Oh, please. Okay, but grabbing the Southern Islands is a lot, lot easier. So we'll take those ones first. Yoink. Okay, last chance. Can this be done? Is it actually possible? Here we go. Oh my goodness, so many divisions here. And the combat width fills up instantly. And we instantly de -org. Hmm. Hmm. Not cool, Paradox. Not cool. Okay, we've got so unbelievably huge navy now. We just do the, the mass combo raid strategy, which basically we just do all of that. And with this in mind, we just basically mop everything up because our navy is just so OP. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yes, navy. Strong! Okay, so when this island becomes too much, you know what you do? You just go around it. And that's an easy land. Taiwan! And it is barely defended. Good. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking you're probably thinking why don't you just invade them homeland first you know i mean you could have gone for that but i wanted to test out the marines okay i wanted to do a little bit of highland hopping i just wanted to see how effective this would be and it's not too bad as long as there's not too many divisions and the combat worth gets maxed out instantly you'll do okay well i couldn't get it so britain got it for me hmm and I feel like humiliated by the British. <clears throat> 1812. Meanwhile, across the world, uh, Germany making a breakthrough and then kind of not. Uh, Finland being a puppet of the Soviet Union. Uh, Norwegian invasion still ongoing. It's pretty messy. Damn, Japan, you got you got so close to capitulating China. In fact, how close? Oh my goodness, so close. 99%! <sighs> ouch anyway time for uh the fork into the south of japan oh my god that was so easy assemble the commandos Ninety-nine percent. That is how close you came to capitulate in China, Japan, and then we end up with this. Um, you know what we're gonna do? Prevent the Korean War from ever happening. Occupation of North Korea. 
Hi, America. It did kind of happen in the war, I guess. So there we go. The Japanese menace defeated. China grabbing islands in the South China Sea. Uh, but Korea won't be a problem anymore. For now, anyway. Okay, let's do the exploit. So make the division as big as possible. That's right. It's very big. Okay, even make it even bigger. Oh, yes. Maximum size. Then we can make 23 special forces. Not so special when the whole army consists of it. Okay, it's pretty... It's a long time coming, but we're going to join the Allies now. Uh, join the wars and blockade Europe. Okay. Carpet convoy raiding has begun. Italy has been occupied. D-Day is here. Just needs 194 days to plan. Okay, that's maybe a little bit too many days. There we go. 94 days is a lot better. Oh, we land. Oh, man. Just, just pushing them out of the way. And, and, and. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, man. The firepower we've got. Oh, my God. It's insane. Are these special forces actually doing a lot of damage or is just the axis in a really bad state? Yep, I'm overstacking my general. I'm doing it because I just don't care. And it doesn't seem to make much difference anyway. Uh, traffic jam. But I'm like, you know what? I'm a American. You know what that means? Just one more lane will fix this problem. Or in this case, if that doesn't work, just embrace the traffic jam. Boosh! So, the division. What is it? It's pretty much this. So, it's kind of like a Space Marines Marine. I guess that would make it a proper Space Marine, right? And I'm also a little bit conscious of low HP, so I've added field hospitals on to give a bonus for that. Is this what's making the difference? Or is it maybe like the 5,000 CAS? Either way, rip Germany. Iceland requests American protection. A great opportunity. Iceland is now a puppet. Not only we gained Greenland, but we've also gained Iceland. It has how many building slots? What the? Iceland! Guaranteed paradox love Iceland, apparently. Grading my tanks here. Would you like to choose extra speed or would you like to choose extra fuel usage? What? I think that's meant to be reduced fuel usage. Pop goes the axis. Europe, I'm going to trust you to fix yourself, okay? Two world wars, okay? I am not going to intervene in European affairs. Let's see what beautiful borders they're going to create for me. Oh, okay. You know, that ain't bad. That ain't half bad. Hang on, wait a minute. I spot a problem. Kosovo to Albania. Okay, I hate this now. Okay, let's see how far we can push breaking of the special forces system. 173 divisions. This template, nice and big. How many special forces can we get? Okay, just a ridiculous amount of special forces. 51 in total. <laughs> Develop Iceland. No, it is one of the states of America. We inject welfare into you to integrate you. And then now you're a state of America. The welfare ends. Welcome to America, boys. Welcome to freedom. Not at this point, you get an event pop up to let you create NATO, but I've not had that. I guess that's been removed. All right, three armies all made up of space marines, super marines, 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 Germany versus Germany. Part two. And off they go. Operation Unthinkable. Now, technically not unthinkable because I did actually think about this from the very beginning and this was originally going to be the plan. I was hoping to do it as NATO though, not the Allies, but whatever, this'll do. The Revenge of Poland. Polska. Strong. Balkan communism not looking too hard. Just like real life. The Balkans are just holding on. Meanwhile, the Soviets are not so much. And you're probably thinking, how are you winning, day? I'm just attacking here and then pushing forward. This guy's overextended himself. Done. And we now have a peaceful Europe. Hang on a second. Germany's more powerful than they were before. What have I done? If you want me to check out some more of the Arms Against Terry content, maybe game the international market, or try out some of the new focus trees, hey, hit the subscribe button and that'll let me know what kind of content you want to see next. If you want to help out a poor YouTuber, think about clicking the Patreon link below so I can eat. Please, please, I'm begging you. Goodbye. You've watched it. You can't unwatch it. And keep watching it. This is the next video. Give this one a click. This one.